In this video, we're going to be looking at lift problems. Let's take an example. A lift of mass 200 kilograms is being lowered into a mine shaft by a vertical cable attached to the top of a lift. A crate of mass 55 kg is on the floor inside the lift, as shown in figure two. The lift descends vertically with constant acceleration. There is a constant upwards resistance of 150 newtons on the lift. The crate experiences a constant normal reaction of 473 newtons from the floor of the lift. Part A says to find the acceleration of the lift for three marks. And part B says to find the magnitude of the force exerted on the lift by the cable for four marks. In other words, that's the tension. So what we ought to do first of all is to draw all our forces. So we have a tension here. We can draw in the weight of the crate, which is 55G, the weight of the lift, which we know is 200G. Then the lift experiences a constant resistance of 150 Newtons. So they also tell us that the lift descends vertically. So it's descending, it's going down. So this is where acceleration is going, it's going down. And the crate experiences a normal reaction of 473 Newtons. So I've got all my forces. So now for part A, I'm going to consider the crate. So we've got 55 G, normal reaction of 473. It's going down. Because it's part of the same system, the acceleration will be the same for the crate and the lift. So here I'm going to use F equals MA. So I'm going to say resolving downwards, we're going to use F equals MA. That's force equals mass times acceleration. So the force that's going down is 55G minus the normal reaction, which is 473, is going to be equal to the mass, which is 55, multiplied by the acceleration. We can work this out on our calculator. So it's going to be 55 times 9.8 minus 473, close the brackets and divide by 55. And that will give me 1.2 meters per second squared for the acceleration. Now for the tension, we're going to consider the whole system. So we're going to say Part B is an F equals MA. So we're going to treat it as one big particle now. So we're going to still resolve going downwards. But this is the entire system. So we've got to be a little bit careful. So the total net force coming down is 255 G. So that's 255 G minus the tension minus 150. So minus the tension, minus 150. Now that is going to be equal to the total mass, 255 multiplied by A, which you know is 1.2. And then we can solve for T. So T is going to be 255G minus 150 minus 255 times 1.2 making sure the 150 is clear, which it is now. And we can just solve that on our calculator. So we can just do 255 times 9.8 minus 150 minus 255 times 1.2, which gives me 2043 newtons. But if we were to round that to three significant figures, that would just round to 
four zero newtons correct to three significant figures. Here's a question for you to try. You can pause the video and when you're done, I will go through my work solution. Okay, welcome back. A woman travels in a lift. The mass of the woman is 50 kg and the mass of the lift is 950 kg. The lift is being raised vertically by a vertical cable, which is attached to the top of the lift. The lift is moving upwards and has a constant deceleration of two meters per second squared. By modeling the cable as being light and inextensible, find part A, the tension in the cable for three marks. Part B, find the magnitude of the force exerted on the woman by the floor of the lift. So what we ought to do first of all is to draw a diagram. So I'm gonna draw the lift here. That's our lift. I'm just gonna draw a particle for the woman. Okay, or I'm just gonna write um, the words woman here. Okay, so let's start drawing our forces. So we've got um, the woman weighs 50 kg, so that's gonna be 50 G. We've got the weight of the lift as well to consider. That's going to be 950 G, so we can write that in. So we've got the weight of the lift, which is 950 G. Then it's got a tension, it's been pulled up, so we need to include that. It's been raised vertically, so we've got the direction of motion. They tell us that the deceleration is two, so it's minus two meters per second squared in terms of acceleration. And we've got everything that we need. So we're gonna resolve in the direction of motion, treating the whole system first of all. So we're gonna resolve upwards or vertically. So we're going to say that tension minus the sum of these, which is going to be a thousand G is equal to a thousand A. We know what A is, A is minus two. So it's going to be a thousand G plus a thousand times minus two. And that will allow me to work out my tension required. So, thousand times 9.8 plus a thousand times minus two. That will give me 7,800 newtons. 7,800 newtons. So for part B, in order to find the magnitude from the force exerted from the lift onto the woman, it's basically saying to work out the normal reaction from the woman. So we've got the woman here, we've got her weight, which is 50 G, the normal reaction, because she's standing on the floor of the lift, and don't forget, it's moving upwards with a deceleration of two, so that's an acceleration of minus two meters per second squared. So we're going to resolve vertically using F equals MA. So we've got R minus 50 G, equals to 50 times minus two. So R is 50 G plus 50 times minus two. And then we can work that out on our calculator. So now we can work that out on our calculator. So we get 50 times 9.8 plus 50 times minus two and that gives me 390 newtons.